Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. As promised, this is gonna be my part two of my epic MS haul unboxing. Obviously, these things have been bought throughout the last few months. I'm gonna link to part one right here. There were also a couple of bag unboxings in between, and I'll also make sure to link those below in the description box so you can have a watch. But without further ado, let's do some unboxing. So here is one of the boxes and i kind of alluded to this item last time this was still getting holes punched at the store so i didn't have it with me but i knew i had to get it as well and you're gonna see why two little dust bags this time and one of these so if you're familiar with this size box you would know that it is a belt kit. I decided to get the same belt that I got last time, but in this colorway. So in the gold Epsom and black Swift leather. I own most of my Hermes bags in black and gold. And so these two combinations is like literally a must. So this belt typically comes with three belt holes and I added two extra ones. And let me show you the belt buckle but there are two. This was the original belt that I bought the palladium hardware version last time and I knew that I had to have at least a gold one as well because again, I wanna match all the bags that have gold hardware. Uh, rose gold and gold, I don't mind. They are similar, but palladium and gold looks different enough that I needed to have at least the gold one as well. So I went ahead and bought this one as well. And this is called the Mayon Ash, very classic. And this pattern, which very much looks like the Shandong. In order to get these belt buckles, you always have to get the leather belts but i told my essay i didn't want to get a third belt because i already have four color combos that i could possibly need i didn't really need a third belt per se and i was like telling my essay i'm like oh i wish i could just get another belt buckle because i really like this other one too and she was like oh you can apparently in our store you are allowed to buy up to two belt buckles as long as they're not both the heritage h buckle which you're gonna see both of these are not the heritage one but you are technically allowed to buy one of the h ones so one of the kind of classic ones and then another one that's not classic as long as you buy it all at the same time and this is one of the new ones that came out recently and i thought it was so sweet and very elegant uh let me take it out you're gonna know why i love it so much because again it's the same shendonk but literally this is the Shendonk because it it literally looks like the chain of the anchor. This one is stunning, of course, but it's a little bit more simple and casual. This one came in palladium and in gold, and I was um and an eyeing because I couldn't buy a third one. I'm gonna show you different outfits that I style this with. It's so 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 nice. I really 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 like this belt buckle, even more than the other one a little bit. But um, yeah so so stunning next time ask your essay whether you're able to buy two belt buckles instead of just one because sometimes changing the belt buckle even just the hardware can make a huge difference so yeah try that next time because i had no idea because if i did i would have bought two belt buckles last time as well because i would have gotten the other color of this exact same one here's the next box this is such an amazing buy <laughs> I really, really, really love it and I highly recommend it if your weather permits and you can wear these types of footwear. They're so, so nice. Anyway, let me show you first because I was so excited to get this. Oh my gosh, the smell is incredible. The smell is so good. To reveal these super awesome boots these are called the imperial boots they are a 50 millimeter heel height and the heel is so cool because it's kind of rounded here leather 
bottom and oh, this leather is so soft and so good smelling and best of all there's a little bit of h logo here and it's a zipper with these boots i actually tried it with a different essay because my essay was not working on that day but i passed by and then i you know kind of looked at the ready to wear tried on a bunch of things and then this essay was suggesting that i try on these boots I was like, oh, it's not my style because I saw the toe. But he was like, no, try them on. They're so comfortable. They're almost sold out. Everyone wants them. And I was like, okay, I'll try them. And it blew my mind because not only are they so comfortable because um, the toe cap is essentially a rounded square toe. Very, very generous. Does not pinch my feet in any way whatsoever. But not only that, the leather is so soft and really, really buttery and smells so intoxicating. Um, I love this hardware here. Let's just remove the sticker because we don't need it. We don't need that. <laughs> that little sticker on the H hardware. So now there's also uh, the shiny palladium H hardware. I always think that, you know, almond toe or pointed toe is kind of like more elongating and looks better, but you know what? In actuality, if the boot is designed well and it fits well and it's comfortable, it will still look very, very nice and it will still elongate. I think this is my first time hyping up a footwear so much because usually I'm kind of skeptical with footwear if they're uncomfortable or if I have to break them in. I'm just not, I'm just not patient enough, but these were right off the bat, super, super comfortable and like literally, they're like butter. I style these boots with this pair of black wool shorts. Thank you so much to Go Elia for letting me share with you their newest fall collection. You guys know that I'm a summer baby. I love my summer clothes, but I can't live in them forever. I wish you could feel and just see how strong and how heavyweight this worsted wool is. These shorts, because they're worsted wool, they're a little bit warmer. They are also so well cut, really, really well tailored. The last few times I showed you guys some shorts, you guys were a fan. If you have more narrow hips, you're gonna love it because this literally fit me to a T. I got it in size 26. This is such a cute little um, a knitted T and I love how dainty it is. I love this sort of like see-through area here on the neckline. They have a couple of these designs. There's also this one, which is uh, a slight mock neck and sleeveless and more of a cream colored. This is your very classic black three quarter sleeve and just very, very timeless and a beautiful knit. So lightweight and very, very soft. Those are three different variations of knitted tops from their newest collection that was so versatile and can go with literally almost every outfit. I have also two shirts right here. Gorgeous silk top and it's got this nice cream and brown pattern on it. Classy pointed collar. I've kind of gotten a liking to sort of like busier patterns ever since I got into Hermes. It kind of gave me a little bit of Hermes feel. So pretty. It's got this ruffling detail here at the collar. Otherwise a very clean, crisp and very crispy white cotton shirt. It looks so classy with the lovely collar. If you're looking for a really gorgeous tweed jacket that is not the Chanel price tag, obviously, because it's not a Chanel jacket, but it has Chanel vibes. I highly, highly recommend. It's so nice. So I love that this one has more of a gray color. So it's slightly lighter than black, but it's really nice. I love that these buttons are silver. Usually you see gold buttons. Uh, and these buttons are really pretty, actually. I quite like it. The tweed itself also has a bit of wool blend. Even though it has sequins, it feels very soft. It's not scratchy at all. Once I bought a Maj jacket that was so sequin, very beautiful, but it was so scratchy that I could never wear it. Not the case with this one. Real pockets and it's fully lined. Another really, really cute jacket. Sequins all over, but it's not scratchy at all. Same thing. A wool blend, really cute gold buttons, 
I love the trims on this one. It's got this braided detail. It also has buttons on the sleeves. I just closed the pocket so you can see the buttons showing through. This is with them closed. This one is also fully lined. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous jacket. Job well done for these two jackets. Cute little cardigan that is cropped. Has more of a, um, I wouldn't say boxy. It has more of like a rounded sleeve design. Very, very soft, very thick material has this lovely embroidery faux pocket. You can completely close it with these hidden closures. I always have to get something that is Asian inspired. Asian collar, Asian buttons, fully lined, and it's in this sort of like linen material. Matching skirt has this nice heavyweight elastic waistband. And it's just so flattering. Like even with this top, it's so flattering. The skirt was a total surprise for me. I didn't anticipate loving this skirt so much. A coordinated outfit that I wanted to show you guys. Australian wool, which is their worsted wool. A very, very high quality. When I saw that they made this slightly boxier oversized matching jacket i knew i had to have it love all the stitching detailing on it the buttons on the sleeve these are also working pockets by the way and it's fully lined a good blazer is always good for the transitional weather stitching detail down the pocket slightly pleated beige camel tone which is so universally flattering for size reference i took all the pants in size 26 and all of the tops and jackets in size extra small and I'll make sure to put that detail in the info box. Wide leg pants, slightly elasticated, dark gray worsted wool. These pants are a lot more heavyweight than the beige pair that I tried on earlier. The beige pair is definitely a lighter worsted wool. This one is definitely a more heavyweight worsted wool which is very very nice for the fall and winter time now these wool pants are so so fun so so comfy but so elegant there are pockets love these kinds of elastic waistbands because if you are more bloated on that certain day you can wear these and still look so fabulous i love the length on these because they're slightly longer so it's perfect with heels these are super affordable it's the micro flare it's not wool but it's a very soft fabric also elasticated at the back and the fabric itself has more of a stretch love this pleat in the front which is sewn together so you'll always have that because the fabric is a little bit more flexible i would size down for a more fitted look which i already ordered the size 25 it's coming in the mail this one it's made of silk has that kind of like vacation vibe and it's an elastic top as well i would definitely say that this is more for summertime or uh for a vacation because it packs really light and it's got this like fluffy uh wrinkle free kind of texture and it's made of silk so you know it's gonna be airy and really comfortable so something different i'll have everything linked in the description box along with my coupon code i hope you have fun shopping the new collection and let's get back to the Hermes um, haul let's unbox another small box like this so this is actually an item that i got from my husband because it was his birthday and it's another belt kit and he doesn't own an Hermes belt yet he owns a bunch of LV belts but he doesn't have an Hermes one yet so I got him an Hermes belt we went together he picked his own color and everything of course I also gave my opinion because he asks all the time this side is Togo in gris etain I believe it's such a gorgeous color. I really want a bag in this color. I honestly really want a bag in gray color. The other side is this black, uh, gorgeous leather. I don't know if this is box. Maybe it is because it's slightly shiny. Really, really nice. Um, he's already worn it. It's a little warped already in the middle, but that's okay. That's they're they're meant to be worn. Um, and again, with these belt kits, these, um, I guess the, the belt part, the leather part, 
only has three holes you are able to punch extra ones but you have to leave it with them and this is the belt buckle that he chose again he wasn't sure about the colorway but in the end we went with gold so this is kind of like the brush gold um classic h buckle again if we had known when we bought the belt that we could have bought two belt buckles so you're allowed to buy one classic belt buckle so the classic meaning the h buckles and another one that is uh just not the h buckles just like their other patterns you're allowed to buy two uh, if we had known then we probably would have bought two buckles because then he could have gotten another palladium hardware buckle that is uh, not the h logo but it's all good i guess more excuse to buy more belts in the future. They just complement each other and they just really pop. It's so gorgeous. And this gold is so nice. And then of course, black and gold, no brainer. That's how black and gold looks like. Super, super gorgeous. If I was a male shopping on Hermes, I would have so much more fun in a way. I feel like they do male ready to wear and male leather goods so much more <laughs> substantially because this this is a substantial belt it's thick really like hardy leather and they're ready to wear it's so much cheaper than the female ready to wear and i just i don't know i just feel like if i was a guy i would have so much fun shopping at elmas competition is always stiffer when you are a female because yeah they have a premium for female something that i saw on the display was not planning on buying it but when i saw it i was like oh it's nice i tried it on and i'm like okay sold i had to get it so i always say small things or great things come in small packages and in this case it's also true and to reveal these gorgeous, oh, they're so nice. These gorgeous big hoop earrings. They're not a hoop earring, but um, it's their Ishapi design. And it's in sterling silver. So this is my very first piece of sterling silver from Hermes. Um, I always just bought their 18 karat gold, but this time I decided, you know what? I'm gonna have some fun because these look way better my essay gave me this silver cloth i heard that their sterling silver does tarnish rather quickly so um that's why i was never really too inclined to buy their sterling silver but it seems like it's easy enough to clean it does look <laughs> <laughs> this this became this black stuff. I really like them. They're really really pretty and just so simple um, But they somehow still stand out um, so yeah, I I Got some sterling silver and I'm not mad at it The only thing that I will say and I will caution you guys if you have the same issue as me is that um, the stem the post is quite thick and I had a bit of trouble putting it on because I have extremely tight ear holes and that is the only thing that is a little bit unfortunately not gonna work out every single time with me like on days that my ears is super sensitive and just really really tight I won't be able to wear them but that's the same with Tiffany as well it's just the way my ears are they're really really <laughs> just um super tight so i'm debating whether i should unbox these in this video because um maybe i'll just do another video so i promise i'll do another video just with all the scarves the new scarves that i bought because i still keep getting questions till this day even just like last week i got another question about uh, the name of my scarf and that they love it and and i feel like i just need to do another dedicated scarf video but there's more there's something in here and there's another box so let's unbox what's in here and this only came in tissue paper i got a piece of ready to wear this is part of their latest fall collection and it's their newest 
zippered sweater and it's really gorgeous i love i've been really loving this kind of light beige color but this kind of beige is very cool tone it's very neutral it doesn't wash me off like a lot of beige do a lot of beige is too yellow and that can really wash me off i love this one i love that this one has a stand-up collar it's just all cotton uh, with a zipper pull and it's also got zippered pockets it has that sporty vibe don't you think it's really cool and it's just the kind of jacket that I need for my casual days. It's called Effet Cali Doscope Zip Jacket. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's the name of this print. And um, yeah, I really like how like they have this part here, which is making... It's, it's cooler. It has more of a cooler collar versus the jacket designs from last year. This was an unplanned purchase. I actually didn't plan on buying another cotton jacket this year because I already got one from last year, but I was actually trying on another wool jacket and the size was too big. It was a little boxy, so we're gonna try to size down, but in the meantime, I got this jacket and so <laughs> it's just, yeah, it was unplanned, but I turned out to really, really like it because the shape and the colorway was really, it did work for me really, really well. For reference, here's the style code. This one, I love so much. I love so much. I actually bought it earlier this year. It was in late spring, so not quite summertime yet, but it was getting warmer. And um, yeah, you guys will see. Oh, so pretty. Like I said, it doesn't always come in a box, but for this one, I was like, yeah, can you please give me a box? Because these are quite delicate. Oh my gosh. How pretty is it, right? It's actually a silk knit, which you can't really tell until you read the label. It's, it's a very airy material, obviously, because it's silk, um, but it's a knit. It's a knitted silk and the collar part is just the most gorgeous, beautiful collar I've ever seen. So this is the white or the cream version, the off-white version. I also got it in black. Here's the black with the nice collar and the silk knit. It's so pretty. Just imagine it. Oh, it's so pretty. So this is part of the fall collection. So the collection that's currently uh, in store right now. I want to say it was late spring. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was late spring. I, I can't remember if it was in May or something. Um, it was definitely not summertime yet. It was still a bit cool, but it was getting warmer and warmer by the day. And I went in to check out the newest ready to wear. They were all really nice. And I think a lot of people liked the the t-shirt with the pattern on it. It's really pretty. I, I actually tried that one on too. But I have already so many of the cashmere t-shirts that I bought from past seasons. I was like, oh, I'm not kind of, I feel like I'm just kind of <laughs> buying the same thing. And then when I tried this one on, because I kind of had my eye on this one as well, but I didn't know it was going to be this pretty. I was just sold the minute I put it on because the neckline was such, oh, such beauty. And then um, the fabric was also took me by surprise because it was a silk, which I didn't realize until I read the label. So the silk part was kind of gleaming. It was really reflecting a lot of light when you move. So it has this really beautiful elegance. And that's something that you only get with ready to wear. For these two tops, I got them in size 38 because they are a little bit fitted and I didn't want the shoulder part to uh, be too tight. I wanted them to have um, some leeway for me to get in and out of them. At times, I feel like it can be an overkill, but for these two, I'm so glad I did get both of them because they are just absolutely stunning. And I know I will get a lot of wear out of them because a lot of times in the winter time, I just want a mock neck or like a turtleneck, but sometimes I don't want the warmth that comes with it. I just want my neck to be warm, but like my body, I still want to stay somewhat warm, but cool at the same time. And I feel like these two tops will come in so handy. Anyway, that's why sometimes I do splurge on ready to wear. I mean, there's no way 
this ready to wear is worth the amount of price that I paid for them. I love my Goelia Lululemon Aritzia, but sometimes you gotta also treat yourself and kind of mix and match with the high and the low. Do tune in for my scarf. Like I said, I have all these new scarves. Um, I also bought scarf rings, which I'm gonna include in that video. It's possible there's another new scarf coming my way because there's another one that I'm eyeing. So I'm gonna include all of that in the next video. But thank you so much for joining me in my unboxing part two. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope you do join the family. I would love to have you back. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.